Um, well, you're not missing too much, Grim. To be fair, I have... I've increased the walls. What you did miss, I'll tell you what you fucking missed. So, Grim, the fucking mountain lions can jump over three square fence. So, that's a thing. That's a thing you might want to be aware of, is that the mountain lions are capable of jumping over three blocks high. Because a uh, mountain lion just got up on the external fence with me earlier. That was fun. Um, so now the inner wall fences, I took them up by two more blocks and I've got a lot of the spikes around the outside so I'll get rid of the outer blocks soon. I'm just waiting on them. I'm waiting on them to craft, as you can see. I've got them crafting on me on two workbenches so that I can finish one side of the building. Still needs a couple more and then I've got to go around to the other side and just fix up the wall and do all the spikes on that side. Then the outermost wall can come down. Although I've got to also put the drawbridge in, but I'm not going to have electricity by the look of it because we worked out, thanks to uh, Shruby before, is I worked out that I don't have enough points even for electric vents. So, yeah, fun. Fun, fun, fun. I can't have an electric wire fence on this place, so that fucking sucks. I didn't realize that. I thought it was part of the intellectual tree. So, yeah, I can't protect the front fucking drawbridge when it does go down. Um, and I'm pretty sure the one that I'm putting down, I think the one that I made was a manual one, unpowered. But I went out and I scrapped some cars around the place and I ended up getting a shit ton of engines instead of, you know, I don't know, getting a shit ton of batteries. And batteries are now craftable as well. I don't know if you knew that. I didn't. Um, so, yeah, that's fun. Yes, I was playing number four. I thought to fall asleep, conquer the game so many times that it's boring. <laughs> God, you sound so much like Nick sometimes, Grim, because like Grim watches like the 007 movies to fall asleep. I'll tell you what, I'm fucking sick of hearing the 007 movies. Um, he's now got a it's like a it's like a story. Instead, he's found a story on YouTube that's a couple of hours long, or at least the part that he's up to is a couple of hours long. And it's kind of like, it's not like, it's not like d, &D but it's not far off kind of thing. It's kind of like immersive kind of story involving some of the normal kind of like characters that you find in amongst that kind of world sort of thing. I don't know hear a lot about that. I can always hear it when I finish stream. It's not something you guys can hear on stream, but I can hear it as soon as I take my headset off. So yeah, I I, I don't know. The guy that does the story, I'm not a big fan of his voice. He's just, uh, you know, when somebody has like, you can hear every fucking S that they say from a mile away, but you can't hear another fucking word out of the mouth at all. And you, it's like really hard to understand. Yeah. It's one of those uh, voice actors where every single S is audible, but not another single word is. And it just, it drives me mental because I can hear it really well. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It sort of amuses me with that. I don't have coffee on me or anything, do I? I hate the sound of lip smacking. Yeah, that too. Um, like, that was one thing. When I turned up the gain on my microphone when I got it like a year ago or whatever. One of the things that I tried to do was make sure that like it didn't sound like you could hear every fucking mouth sound inside my mouth while I was speaking. So I'm like, even I can't stand that. So yeah, the other thing too is my microphone's like not right up to my face anyway. So anything that it's picking up, it's it's only picking up because like the gain's turned up. And sometimes I I have learnt to speak louder to begin with, which is part of what fucks over my voice. But um, I'm having trouble undoing that skill that I've kind of taught myself and trying to get myself to like speak a little less projected so that the gain can do all the work. But I also don't want to turn the gain up on the microphone anymore because if I speak loudly, it's going to be really, really loud. But... Yeah, I've been trying to slowly bring the microphone closer and closer to myself so that I'm not using as much of my voice 
it's straining as much. I have found that I've got this like little next warmer thing. It's helping. Ah, oh, sorry, I got the yawns. I'm also sort of hungry. It's kind of fair. Mm, technically, probably haven't really eaten since yesterday. Mm, actually, sorry, day before. I just realized I sleep pretty much all of yesterday. It's really hard to keep track of sometimes because the way that I sleep and I'm awake, I'm awake over midnight, generally speaking, right? So it's not like with daytime where you wake up at, say, 9 a.m. and then you're awake past lunch and then you're into the afternoon kind of thing. My kind of midday kind of thing for me is, I don't know, I don't know when that would be, like maybe 5 a.m.? Or probably be like the middle of the day for me, I think. Um, so yeah, it's it's kind of, I start one day, then I'm into next day, but the time frame that I've been specifically awake is not the same as the day. It's so complicated. Like, I've learnt to kind of just use the same kind of phrases that everybody just generally uses, like, oh, I'm having dinner. But my dinner that I'm having is like, you know, technically my breakfast or something. Right? So it's just like, it's, I'm using the same time frames that people normally use to make it easier. But it's, it's a different thing for me. It's really weird. So yeah, I have, when I'm having my dinner, it's technically breakfast. So yeah, it's really weird. I'm getting used to it though. Like the thing is, before I started streaming, I really did try to be awake during the day, but I'm not generally awake during the day. I struggle to stay up. Um, and when I was starting to stream, I used to stream at 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. instead of 10 p.m. till 2 a.m. And I find that this works a lot better. Hey, Stella. It's a, a Salazar. I'm terrible with names, but welcome in. Just let me know if it's Stella or Salazar. Um, but yeah. I don't know. This seems to work a lot better. I don't relapse into falling asleep during the day as much and missing streams because it's nighttime instead and I'm awake. So I rarely ever get it that I'm too tired to stream unless I'm like unwell. And then, then I miss the stream, but with good reason, you know, as opposed to forcing myself to be awake because it's daylight out and then I end up missing a stream because I'm asleep, asleep at night. Uh, that should work. If it doesn't work, it might just have broken. But it's 1.39 a.m. in Queensland, Australia here, if you want to know a specific time. it That one is actually supposed to work. I've got something set up for it, but I'm not surprised it's not working. A whole heap of things haven't worked lately. Actually, I even noticed that uh, sometimes when people subscribe, it doesn't actually do the alert either. Which is frustrating because like I prefer to know when you guys have done stuff. It's 1.39 p.m. here. Oh yeah. Um 1.39 p.m. Mm, that's probably more a European kind of time zone, isn't it? I think. I I'm just trying to remember because like yeah, yeah, I thought so. Cause um Shadow and a waiver, it's normally like kind of about the afternoon for them about now, but it's I think a little bit earlier. They might be a little bit further over than where you are. But yeah, I'm getting better with learning time zones too. I've never had any reason to kind of learn them until I started streaming, but I have and it's been really fascinating. I have no sleep schedule. I only sleep when I get tired. Most of the time I sleep during the day because at night I get more energy as they normally. Yeah, well, I know that you are also affected by like uh, summer and winter. Like you sleep more in winter and you can't during summer because it's too fucking hot. So yeah, I get that. Hey, what are you up to, Sella? Oh, uh, actually, I try to try to fucking say Sella. I don't know why I'm saying Sella. I've got fucking. I have like this solid urge. I'm I'm sorry, I'm not ripping on you. I just have this solid urge to say salsa. And I think if I just said that, it would go away <laughs> and I'll be salsa. Salsa. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm just generally awful with names. I'm sorry. 
I'm also having a weird night where I'm like, my brain's just not quite doing it tonight. You know, I, I only woke up a few hours ago, so yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Um, yeah, what are you up to? What are you up to today? I'm trying to get stone at the moment and it's nearly night time. So I'm just going to finish this little section, head back. I'm trying to get stone so I can get cobblestone and cement for my base. I've got most of the walls up where I sort of want them, but I've got to get um, cement and spikes and stuff. And I've still got to finish building up inside my base. I'm trying to basically do a remake of a water tower fortress that I had on my very, very first seven days to die map. And I've been itching to build it for like the last year or so. And I finally just decided in February this year that I'd just get in and fucking do it. The only problem is that uh, about a month after I decided to jump in and start, we started getting news that, you know, Alpha 22 was going to be coming out soon and then Alpha 22 is actually Seven Days to Die releasing the the game from Alpha. And so, yeah, that's happening next month. So I'm now kind of rushing to do as much as I can before we run out of time. Because of the new books, you know, the magazines and stuff, I can't make as much of what I need unlimited. And also because I'm running around with the integration on for this, um, I tend to die generally speaking every five minutes I kind of die uh, especially if like triumph is around I, I tend to die but um yeah we've got warrior difficulty and we've got daytime feral sense and we've got nighttime nightmare speed zombies so shit's been difficult <laughs> it I kind of chose one of the worst like arrangements of difficulties to kind of try to do the song not for much just chilling Nice. Oh man. Also, I'll be playing this again on Friday. I'm doing my, uh, what do you call it? My first uh, affiliate anniversary on Friday. So I'll be doing this then and I'll have a few more people probably jump in and play on that night. I normally only play this on Mondays, but uh, oh, that stone there. Uh, don't do deafen. We'll see how it goes because I'm hoping that maybe I can get most of this place done before they release the game, you know. Don't you spawn a coyote? Where is it? Fucking muting my audio so that I've got coyote problems. Yep. Probably. No, I can hear vulture. There, there we go. Why have I got two of everything? I ran out of ammo. All right. The only fun thing with the coyotes is they kind of like you smack them once and they'll run. There'll be a second one here. There we go. Hi, mate. Grim, I got myself a um a level five shoddy. Something else spawned biker. Mate, oh, I'm out of ammo. It's fine. I'm bleeding out for something. Did somebody cast like hurt or something? I gotta go home anyway. I've got a lot of problems. <laughs> So I might as well just fast travel back. I'm not that far from home, but it's fine. Grim, if you're wondering, Triantha is substantially further ahead of than you in killing me. I'll show you in a sec. We had a look at this earlier because, because look, um, he's at 17, you're only at 7. And apparently it counts when you change your name over. So you actually have 9 but I thought you might want to know that, that it, it only counts, like, per one username. So, yeah, just a bit of fun there. I'm trying to get some water while I've got a second. But, yeah, this is my base. And Grim is also here. We've got other people that jump in and play, but it's just kind of casually. The Grim sort of area is in here. By the way, I'm slowly taking down the roof, Grim, as well, when I'm home at night. Um, and this is how the wall is going. So the outer wall itself, this like little three wall, it's not strong enough. Um, it will go down soon. I'm getting the spikes and stuff in place right outside. I'll show you this in a sec. So we've got, I wanted to plant more potato seeds, but I can't craft them. So that's fun. 
Uh, oh yeah, spikes. Oh. We used to have all of our stuff along this wall originally, but um, this was a better spot. Now my cement should be mostly done. My spikes. For most of the time, I'm not trying to bump you off. I'm just being a dick. I know what you're trying to do, Grim. For the most part, you're pretty good about like how and when you like get me dead. But um, yeah, I know at one point Triantha was competing with you to see if he could kill me uh, equally or more. Where is it there? Recipes. I want spikes. Make some spikes up. And oh yeah, we keep getting screamers. Fucking hell, Grim, you should really see him. Uh, whoops. Also, Grim also plays on my game, my server as well, if you're curious. Um, so yeah, we have had, we've had like packs of screamers come in. We've had running zombies get in through the outer, outer wall. I've had to put like some blocks up in the corner so we can actually climb shit because shit's a bit tall now. All right, I've got me some spikes. I should have enough spikes for what I'm doing with that one wall and the rest of the stuff. Like I've got extra armor too, so I'll pop that away. All that, and I got extra rocks. I have potato somehow. Oh, that's right. I um, I attacked a potato area. Sorry, that's that's very clear and precise information there. Give me the spikes. I got 170 odd, and clay can go away. Food can stay with me. Ammo can stay with me. Snow can go away. It's difficult when I'm around. They don't they don't want now this and don't want none of this now since they're not there. That they're futiles. Look, you know, the funny thing is the zombies don't come around for me, Grim, most of the time. Um, it's really only when you're in the game that the zombies are like, fuck yeah, I want some of that. Right. Um, the rest of the time, they're pretty well fucking behaved. Take me some boxes because I also made a mistake when I jumped out onto wall. So I've got this side, this whole side yet to do. I've still got to fix that up. But this one at the back, at the back's fixed up. Right, there is, I do need iron to fix up one of the ones. I landed on this. I made a big mistake when I jumped out. I missed the wall. The game lagged for a second because somebody spawned something and I landed down there and I couldn't get out. <laughs> so that was a mistake. I'm working currently on this side and the front side's done. So I've only got really the last of this and the front side to go. Which I think I'm just doing the second layer of spikes along here. Also, Triantha has successfully figured out how to spawn things on me in the base when I'm in the save zone. Um, he just uses Enrage to kind of bring in zombies from the local area. And then, of course, once they're in the area, then they start making noise, which, of course, brings other zombies. And, yeah, he's, he's successfully fucking figured it out. So I'm no longer safe in safe zones. This side is done now. And this front side is done, I think. That's fine there. This is, of course, nasty snack, coffee flavored. Look, you're probably delicious, Grim. I've also got to take down this front panel part as well to get the drawbridge in, but I'm just going around for a lap to fix up some shit. I don't need a spike there, but it can stay for the moment. Like here, I've got to do along here. So, since it's coming into nighttime, I might as well. Well, it is nighttime now. I have this. Here we go. So what I want to do, I want to stay along the wall as best I can and just get a couple of these up here. It's not supposed to be that far out up the top and I need to cement all this. So I got to take all these wooden spikes out of here. That's fine. It's not nearly as many because this side has got attacked like three or four times now. Well, you're also a nasty snack, Grim. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop hitting the concrete. Oh yeah, I went for I went for a run to try to get the carpets and pieces. And it turned out that that side of town had all the zombies. So I love you too. I know you do, Grim. Alright, so there is it wasn't working stiff. It's over here where there's no cars. This is where I was, okay? If anybody's wondering how you know if you've got a car, you see this black rectangle here, here? These are cars. Those are bins, actually. Those ones are bins. That's a truck. Uh, that's a truck, I think. Either that or a car. 
Um, you could kind of tell roughly what it is by like the size of the rectangle. Like that's easily a truck kind of thing. So that's where I was. And over here was packed with zombies. I do not know what was going on, but over here had so many. And I made the mistake of being out there at night. So that was interesting for me. Oh, man. But yeah, so far this place, I'm going to have to go upstairs and grab the cement for the wall. I'll just put this back in here for the moment so I don't start building. But yeah, so far the outer wall is mostly there. Like it's only, I think, I think it's seven high at the moment. Hold on, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's only seven high. Also, boost melee doesn't work with the axe and this. We tried it earlier, unfortunately. I appreciate it though. Um, and it also doesn't work if I change it to a sledgehammer. Like, it works with that because that was a one hit, but yeah. No, we, um, we had a few people really helping me along with the, um, roof, with the boost melee earlier. It was great. Also, for anybody that might be new in, I have a community challenge goal at the moment going to let you know about that basically if you want to contribute some channel points towards, it will remove the progressive supporting uh, from the integration. So basically what happens is if the goal's met, I will remove the progressive spawning. Everybody can spawn in whatever they want, whatever kind of hordes, bears, lions, whatever, right? And I'm just going to fucking tolerate it. Um, if it obviously doesn't happen in the due time, then you guys get your channel points back. That's what happens. No melee. Uh, fucking up. This counts as melee now. Mm. Okay, I'm going back up into the building. All right, I love how it it says that this is not melee when it's boost melee, but now it's melee. Fuck you, game. Um, I I quite like Seven Days to Die. Let me just clarify that I like the game, but some of the shit is very um why. Yeah. Let's see. I need to grab my cement while I'm up here. Um. I don't need blocks. I want cement. I've also got to go down to, um, I need more cement than that probably. I also need to go downstairs and finish making, that's something I need to do is cobblestone blocks. About Daisy. I haven't got or played Daisy. I have looked at it. Hold on. I don't think I'm crafting anything at the moment. Where is my steam? I had Daisy on my wish list for ages and I don't know why I took that off. Is it still in there? No. I think what it was, because Daisy's the one with the realistic crafting system, right? Kind of like uh, uh, the forest and Sons of the Forest, right? That's what Daisy one is, right? I I'm just trying to clarify because I have a lot of zombie games favorited. Um, but if that is the one that's got like the really super realistic crafting system. I tend to stay away from a lot of games that do that um, just because the crafting system frustrates me too much. Um, like I like the... I was saying this earlier, I'm a very, very strange creature. Like I like a complicated mixture of like a balance of realism and fantasy kind of thing. Like I like the fact that Seven Days has got like, you know, um the fantasy kind of aspect that I can die and respawn back at my base. I like that. But I don't... Oi. Um, but, like, at the same time, um, is it, like, I don't mind my character getting, like, out of breath or whatever when I'm mining and stuff, but I like the fact that I don't have to go lay down and rest. Like, that kind of level of, like, realism versus um, fantasy kind of stuff. Like, I... I like that kind of balance. With something like Daisy, I like the idea of it originally because I'm like, oh yeah, it's another kind of like open world zombie kind of survival crafting type thing. But then I looked at the crafting system. Oh, grim. Fucking hell. Yeah, there's a zombie out the back. I looked at the crafting system and the problem I had was that like with the forest and like with Sunken Land is the crafting system is a little too specific like I'm not allowed to carry too much stuff like I don't like that level of realism where like I'm not allowed to just endlessly carry like thousands of stones on me without being like 
exhausted and stuff. So I kept looking at it for ages. There must have been a hoard out here, Grim. I kept looking at it for ages because I was like, oh yeah, this, I probably will like it. But then I could never get past like the crafting side of it. I'm going to need my pistol to do this. There are so many. This is specifically, by the way, what Triantha has been doing to me. Just so you know, this is how I'm not safe in my own fucking base. Don't you bucket head. These bastards, I think they're underneath me. These bastards, we had Big Head, we had Bucket Head, we had Enrage, and a whole bunch of fucking animals spawned on me earlier, and I couldn't kill a single one of them because the bucket on the Big Head covered their entire body like a fucking lampshade. So, I ended up dying from that. Then I went back out five minutes later. <laughs> As you know, you can only kill me every five minutes. And, uh, yeah, it was time to do a vote. That was brilliant. Hi, mate. Also, I've been looking at the... You better make a oh my god, Grim. I've been looking at, like, all the different things that they've been bringing in for, like, the new release and stuff. Yeah, I'm not able to fucking hit her properly from there. They've brought out a new variation for... Uh, they died over there. You know, the uh, bloated zombie? So, I never knew that was... they ha Like, I know that they have names and stuff, but I just never know what they are. And apparently the bloated zombie is like the big dude, right? I'm getting hurt from something and I don't know what it is. Oh, are they fucking hurting themselves and I'm getting hurt from it? Because if that's the case, I better get XP from the fucking box, I swear. Anywho. Um, I just thought it was really interesting some of the stuff they brought out. Like the demo looks awesome. The uh, big dude, the bloated zombie, he has been changed to have like multiple different types of like... Uh, you know, instead of the poop emoji undies and stuff like that, he's got other stuff like avocados and hearts and stuff. Like, it's really fucking weird. Weirdly interesting. There's another one up here. Hi, mate. Don't you worry, I'm working on this side of the wall at the moment. Uh, I've got almost no ammo, by the way. I've still got one more box left up right. And your bucket's off. Yeah, it sounds like there's another zombie around the front, by the way. Thanks. I actually do need the ammo. Look at that. I'll get up to that in a second. I just need this guy to disappear. I get... Oh. Uh, reserve fuel tank mod schematic. Nice. We don't have vehicles yet. We're not even close to having vehicles yet. Um. Yeah. That's just the fun part about this with the integration is uh i we're not kind of getting the levels that we would normally have so one thing i've kind of prepared myself for is whenever i play at the moment i accept the fact that i am only going to do about the equivalent of like an hour's worth of actual tasks in a four hour span of time because i'm really not getting to do as much which I'll tell you what, is making building this something. Because this is... I need to take the spikes up to five high to to recreate what I was doing previously. And if it's not for Grim, honestly going and getting so many resources all the time, I probably wouldn't even have half of this wall done. I would have like one thickness of wall, that would be about it. It's uh, kind of where we were at. Leave that there. And keep going with this. So even though I'm inside my fucking base thing, I'm not safe. There is there is another game. Hold on. There is a game coming out. Sorry, I just remembered. Called Once Human. And I don't know what that is specifically. I don't think it's so much like zombies as much as infectious, infected kind of thing like disease or spore related or something and I thought that one looked interesting but I haven't really got a chance to look at it too much really need, I'll try to focus on getting it well I just went and got a heap of stone and I know that on Friday because it's the affiliate stream I will try to be outside of my base more um, so people have more chances to play with the integration because at the moment you guys have really only been able to do buffs um, and supplies for most of tonight because <laughs> I've been like really good at like staying in here also it's basically I didn't even realize it was 2am 
I need to get back up into base. So, yeah, I normally stream till 2 a.m. Just to let you guys know. Like, I will be streaming for the rest of the week. I know I said I was going to take some time off, but Nick's not traveling. So, um, since he's not traveling, I'm going to just stream. So, we're going to have RimWorld, uh, RimWorld Tuesday. I'm putting PUBG on Wednesday instead of Friday because Friday's got the uh, affiliate stream. And Thursday is Diablo as per usual. And then, yeah, Friday, Friday we've got my one-year affiliate anniversary stream happening. So, yeah, that's something to look forward to. Everybody can play with the integration heaps. And if you guys manage to do the uh, Channel Point community goal before 